What are you doing here? I've got to clean. Not today, Betty. Go on till it's time for the funeral. I need to be doing. It stops me from thinking about poor Biff. Oh, what a tragedy that lad's seen in the last 18 months. It's not fair. Oh, the state Seth was in at breakfast. I think he needs you at home. Oh, well, I thought the world of poor little Linda. Not often I've seen him in tears. I'll see you at the church. Aye. All right, then. Thanks, Paddy. <laughs> what for? For being you. <laughs> you told Joe yet? Yeah. I'm waiting for the right moment. You mean you didn't? You're stringing her along, Al. Just like you did with me over the pub. I said I'm sorry. Well, it's not good enough, mate. You're mucking around with people's lives. All right. All right, I, I, I know I'm a coward. Morning. Hey. Well, uh, I'll get on then. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you to the funeral? Yes. Joe, I, I can't come to America with you. Come on, kids, we're going to be late. Dozy Aper. Yeah. I mean, size aren't exactly the best of pals. Huh? Mm. I was just thinking how shattered I'd be if, if you were brown bread. Oh, don't be so morbid, Butch. I love you all, you know. I just wanted you to know that. Oh. <laughs> Best take a box of tissues for Bambi. He's completely lost it. <laughs> take no notice of Horace Hart, Art. You're a big bag of sugar, Butch, and we love you. Oh, pass me the bucket. I'm going to puke. What's the video for, Butch? It's just something I wanted to give to Ned. I don't understand what you're saying. Everything's arranged. I just can't go. But why? I mean, if you're worried about your visa, we can go down to the embassy tomorrow and sort it out. No, no it's not that. The doctor said you were fit for the journey. We've got our route, sorted out what we're taking. Alan, don't do this to me. I'm sorry. Oh, look, it's totally understandable if you're getting cold feet. It's a big step we're taking. Too big. No. We're freeing ourselves, Alan. No more bills and boring routine. No more dragging yourself out of bed for a job you don't particularly enjoy. But I do. I enjoy being rooted, having my friends about me. This, this is my home. But what about our dream? It was always your dream. I thought I wanted it too, but when I got honest with myself, I realised it was you I wanted, not America. Sorry, Alan. It's not an either or. I can't believe you've strung me along like this. Not once have you even hinted about chickening out. I didn't know how to tell you. I just hoped that I could persuade you to stay. Then you don't know me at all. I, I do understand if, if you hate me. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm just so disappointed in you. Because we both know it's not about Emmerdale. The real reason is you're scared. You're very. Joe, I, I'm not a free spirit like you. I'm. I'm 60 years old, I'm set in my ways, and yes, yes, I am scared. Mm, it's sad. I never took you for a coward. Um, look, I, 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 I'd better go. The, the funeral is soon. Yep, sure. Can we talk when I get back? Is there anything left to say? <laughs> I 
How you doing, Ned? All right. No, I'm not, Jack. I'm not all right. I went out with a gun this morning and I told Jan I was going rabbiting. But in actual fact, I was contemplating doing away with myself. Oh, Ned. Oh, you don't know what it's like burying your kids, Jack. There can't be out worse in the world. Aye. <clears throat> but I couldn't do it. And the most shameful part is, I wasn't worried about Jan or Roy. It was because of revenge. Before I die, I want to nail the evil scum that killed my little girl. I'm not looking forward to this. You don't have to go. And what will that say to the village? Linda died after leaving our party. It's only right I should be there. Are you sure the Glovers are going to see it that way? I'll just sit quietly at the back. I don't want any trouble. Well, come on, we'd better go. Oh, no. You're not going to the funeral. Good hell. For God's sake, Chris, you tried to attack the girl. There'd be a riot if you turn up at that church. Whatever you think, I liked Linda. You haven't got an ounce of sensitivity in your body. The Glovers won't exactly welcome you with open arms. You're not coming with us. If you go, you go alone. Be strong. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, Zach can't be here. He thought a lot of Linda. Thanks, Lisa. Are you up, Roy? Sorry, I, I can't think of anything else to say. I'll see you later. Um, perhaps we should get started. Uh, Ned, Roy. Linda. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so it will be for those who died as Christians, God will bring them to life with Jesus. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Comfort one another with these words. I can't go in. Linda would want you there. She thought the world of you. No, she didn't. Linda hated me for giving Jerry up. That's what she told you? Not exactly. I just know. Emma, darling, we all make mistakes. Just look at your old dad. Linda was a smashing girl, but she made mistakes in her life, too. You know how bad she felt about having that abortion? That wasn't a mistake. She didn't know what she was doing. Linda would have said it was a mistake. But you were understanding. Didn't ever judge her. I know Linda wouldn't judge you. Maybe. Come on. Let's say goodbye to her. Many of you here are bound to feel angry about Linda's death. And angry with God. Why was someone so young taken from us, with so much to offer? There are no easy answers. But God is suffering with us. Let us pray. Lord, lead us to repent our sins, the evil we have done and the good we have not done, and strengthen us to follow in the steps of your Son, 
in the way that leads to the fullness of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Linda was the love of my life. But beyond saying that, it's hard to describe how I feel about her. I spent a lot of time thinking about the right words. But no matter what I thought, it never sounded right. So I've decided to play a song. It should remind us of that special night. And it's how I want to remember Linda. She was full of life. And she was full of fun. And she was full of love. How dare you come to Linda's funeral, you bunch of little hypocrites? This is neither the time or the place, Bill. Oh, well, have you come to see if you've done a good job properly, then, eh? Please. And you? You're a disgrace to turn up after what you did to my daughter. I came here to pay my respects to Linda. I liked her very much. Don't you even mention her name. You could have stopped her and Oakwell getting into that car, but you didn't. My wife's dead because of you. That's enough, Biff. Come away, Biff. No! This was Linda's funeral. I want them cleared out of here. I think it'd be best all round. There's really no reason for this. We were going anywhere. Yeah, and you bet I'd go. Because the way I feel at the moment, I'd be happy to take you back up to the quarry. And this time, I would squeeze the trigger. Are you playing it long? I'm bored with this. No concentration, that's your problem. Can't just go down to Jack and Sarah's and play with Robert. What do you want to go there for? We're all right here. Why do you always get spiky every time I mention the Sugdens? Because I'm looking after you now, not them. I'm sick of hearing it. Jack this, Sarah that. They've been really good to me. Jack does know but look down on me. He done. Hey, I can ask Jack if he's got any work for you. I know a note about farming, I've proved that. Jack could teach you. Oh, I'd enjoy that. <sighs> Dad, you don't have to be so choosy. We need the money. Meg Glover will be back at work for a while. All right, you ask Jack for us. Great. But don't sound like you're begging. I realise the Glovers must be devastated, but I just don't think it's fair blaming you, Kim. We all know who's to blame. And nothing's been proved. Oh, come on, it's obvious. The coward steals my car, smashes it up while he's off his face and leaves Linda to die. What kind of subhuman does that? I saw them drive away. I should have stopped them. Don't reproach yourself. How are you to know that Lord Cokehead was a pathetic druggie? 
call Linda. You see me after. Jack, this is hardly the time or place to discuss meeting up. Will you? All right. Church is going to be creeps, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, well, you just quit moaning. You've done nothing but bellyache about us planning the funeral. It would have been nice if someone asked for my opinion, you know. Do you want a drink? What's this then, Butch lad, huh? My mum bought it when our uh, Ben died. It's about coping with bereavement. Yeah, I appreciate it, pal, but I'll cope. No, no, take it. I'll leave it with you. Aye. Look, uh, sorry, Biff. I shouldn't have said what I did. Oh, come here, Aye. Hey, it's your pub, Al. Don't think I'm bottling up my own. It's a fact. From now on, all I'm doing is what's required, and now else. She's gone, Jack. Where are you going? To Woolley. Can't stand much more of this. But I need you here. Why well, you've got enough spare hands to wash pots, haven't you? No, you don't understand. I want you close by. Me. I'll give you a rest, ma'am. I just want to get out of here. Leave him, love. Let him grieve his own way. <sighs> Do you want me and Sarah to split up? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what I know. Before we got together, I was truly, blissfully happy for just a few weeks in my entire life. Don't talk rubbish. No, it's true. I added it all up. You know, the odd precious day here, an hour there, but mostly brief moments that came and went far too quickly. I expect it's the same for most people if they were honest. But since I fell in love with you, I've been piling hours and hours of happiness onto my life total. You know, when I'm with you, I feel alive. Sandwiches went well, then. Yeah, I'll give you a hand to clean up, love. No, you're all right. You sit there. Look, we can't put our Roy in Cornwall, you know. He's all we've got left. If anything ever happened to him... Hey, I... hey, come on. I can't take any more of this, Ned. Each time we pick ourselves up off the floor, we get kicked in the teeth again. First day, Linda's baby, Bib's illness. It's just life, love. It's what happens. No, it's what happens to us. What's God got against the Glover family? Butch brought this round. I'll put it on the video. What is it? It's a tape. Coping with bereavement. Oh. Folk will make money out of help these days. <laughs> Well, if this is not typical of Butch Dingle. What's up? He's put the wrong tape in the box. <laughs> Sexy confessions of a lady's maid. Oh. <laughs> Look, we'll get through this, love. And we'll do it together.
So what was in uh, Joe's letter? Anger. Disappointment. I've let her down, Terry. I've let myself down. She's right. You've been a complete coward. I've lost her, Terry. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. She'll be back. There she went. Well, the problem with funerals is they're just not user-friendly. You are. Well, I reckon you should just wear casual gear like your favourite football shirt or trainers or whatever. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Yeah, well, old folks wanted it solemn, respectable and morbid. <laughs> well, I'd hardly call it that. It's the first time I've heard the Spice Girls in church. Yeah, I suppose. Well, when I go, I want them to play somewhere from West Side Story. Then the birdie song just to freak people right out. You know, some buddy, you are seriously weird. Yeah, well, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Don't be such a pill at Marlon. He's just lost his wife. Yeah, I mean, you can't credit it, can you? I mean, imagine her being a druggie. Outside now. I, I didn't mean out by it. I was just repeating what the fork had said. I'm gonna smash the Come on. What's... All right. Fine. You apologise to Roy right now. Don't you think the family have got enough grief? I am. I'm sorry. Sometimes I let my gob run away with itself. Don't take any notice of me. We don't. <laughs> See, it's official. If I hear you slagging our Linda again, you are dead. Would you let a pillet buy you a drink? <sighs> I suppose it's no days for arguing. Linda's a fight. It's on the house, Biff. Thanks, Alan. I think it all went very well. Yeah. I suppose so. But here's to the future. And here's to Linda. The best wife a bloke could ever have. 